Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Procreate and Procreate Dreams together. So in this file here I have a spaceship and I have a background. I'm going to duplicate each one and I'm going to flatten the copies. This way I can deal with these copies, flattened copies, as separate images. So one of the cool things about Procreate Dreams is that if you go to the Procreate and you want to create a new scene you click on the plus and you choose the aspect ratio that you want so let's say widescreen HD then empty so starting from here you have nothing in the scene so I will go into the procreate and I would go into the spaceship I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna name this okay so what I can do now is to grab this layer, grab it vertically down, and then I can go and swipe with my finger up, go to Procreate Dreams, and then Release. And here it is. So same with the background, click and hold, and then move it down, and then swipe up, and then go to Procreate Dreams and then release. So now I have the background which has some sort of transparency there that's why I'm able to see the uh, ship behind it. Now I'm gonna be uh, pinching outside that canvas area and then you can pinch with your fingers. I can pinch two fingers here to scale up and down. Um, also if you use three fingers you swipe up and down you can enlarge the view of those layers you can also swipe right and left to zoom in and out on the timeline with three fingers if you use one finger you can move it around or even two fingers if you want but with the two fingers you can also pinch now as you can see here that they don't have the same length so I can click and hold and then move the layer here all the way till the beginning and then if I want to match the same length with this one here I would click and hold at the end of that layer and here it is so now I can grab the timeline trigger and then throw it there and it would just play all the way from the beginning so I'm going to click and hold on the ship and go up so now it's on top. I am going to change the scaling of this background so it would fit. If you click on the border, on the right border of a layer, you can squeeze it like that. If you click on the lower border or upper one, you can distort it vertically. Otherwise, you can click on the corner and then it would lock the aspect ratio without any distortion. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with this result. Um, I, I could experiment with something like this, more like a city that is kind of um, simulating some movement. So let's do that at least for the purpose of demonstration. Now going back to the ship, uh, maybe I plan on making it like this big and maybe moving around like this so what I would do uh, in this case here go to the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to double tap with the pen on the beginning so now I'm gonna hold and move this layer And now it's snapping, so that is the very beginning here, starting at zero second. Okay, so my goal now is to move the spaceship up and down. So I would click on the button here, and then I'm going to click on move, and then move and scale. So that's going to allow me to animate the movement and the scale at the same time. So if I go and click here, that's going to make a key, then moving all the way here. After I move the 
timeline I need to make a keyframe by clicking on this icon here now when I move it it's going to record that movement it's very simple in fact it could be even simpler than this three fingers on the timeline and I'm going to click on this button here which is basically perform and that's going to allow me to make animation in real time by doing so and that's the end of it so select this and slap it to the left all the way and then here's the animation cool now that this is done I want to do some movement for the background but I'm not going to be using the uh, perform for it I'm going to be using just basic movement and I want to introduce you to some issues you may have in this case okay so now that I want to key this background I'm gonna click on this button here moving away from the performance moving into this button here and then click on this button and then into the actions I go to move move and scale so click here now it has created this first keyframe now I'm going to go all the way to the very end double click clicking on this side here so I can grab that move and scale and now on the move and scale I'm gonna click now it's highlighted meaning that when I make a movement now it's going to record that movement uh, not live not like the performance but more like it's going to register that keyframe so now if I hit play all the way back ready set and go so notice how there's no movement right now for the background it's extremely slow so what I want is actually more like consistency or in other words um, I want linear easing so I'm gonna select on the um, the move and scale I'm gonna go set all eases and I'm gonna click linear so now when I go all the way back you can see the movement is no longer easing in and out but instead it is actually linear so that's how it's done here lastly I want to introduce a few more features so let's say I want to add a layer of some fog or atmosphere so what I'm gonna do is go back to procreate move it down and then swipe up go here and install it in there now that the layer is in place I want it to go all the way till the beginning now I want this to be more like a foreground and I want it to be in front so removing the layers would allow me to be on a mode where I can change the uh, scale of this image and I'm going to also animate it but this time what I'm going to do is to go and add a filter and I want to add a little bit of Gaussian blur about 7% and I'm also going to click again on the layer itself and I'm gonna add a filter and then I'm going to add noise and uh, gonna show you clearly here what kind of noise it gives filter and then noise you have the clouds or you have the billows or the ridges so I'm gonna go with clouds I'm gonna change the scale
change the octaves and the turbulence reduce the scale a little bit and actually scale it up a little bit more so that is the noise now what I want to do is to animate this layer just like I did before so click and then move move and scale so that's gonna be in the very beginning here click move move and scale with three fingers all the way till the end here and then click on this kind of super gray area super dark gray area I should say yeah so this is the end and now being on the last keyframe I'm just gonna move it and uh, yeah let's see what it looks like now looks great except that it's pretty opaque so what I want to do now lastly is to add filter and then opacity and then reduce the opacity about this much tempted to keep it really high but I'll go on the maybe 50 percent and uh, the playing is gonna take place only on the scope that you have on the screen so what I would do is remember that the three fingers is the best way to scale up or, or zoom out because that would make it really fast And um, another thing that I really like is that uh, you can just uncheck any layer you don't want. So you can see before and after. And um, if and if you notice that the opacity is a little too much, just I'll drop it really low. Maybe this is better. And uh, the noise has a really nice effect. Maybe if you can stack multiple noises together, it would add maybe more depth. But now that I'm done, how do you export this out? You click on the name Dream2. You go to the Share. And then you click on Video. And unfortunately, this is the glitch that I mentioned earlier. On some iPads, it just doesn't work so hopefully they fix this very soon however for desperate measures you can click on frames as images and that will export apparently aside from that you can uh, go to the custom settings if the rendering is working for you it's definitely important to go and check the uh, codecs change it to H.264, MOV or MP4, whichever you like, the audio as well, and uh, the format, and um, then you click export and then it still doesn't work. Another way to export your video is by, I'm going to click done and then click on the button here on the very left. Then I'm going to click and hold and then click on share and click on video so also that should work but also it's not working in my case so hopefully they're gonna fix that anyhow with that said I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching